Hey, this is Shante with Brown Sugar Talks on the Black Unicorns. Okay, so listen up, man. This is what's going on. I did think about Jamie Foxx. I for real, for real did. I did. I just, uh, I like you. Um, In real life, like, it is not a joke. Like, for real, for real, I'm serious. Like, I'm not playing. I'm serious. I am not joking i know your real name too every day every time i find out something new that you do i be mad because i like you it's so stupid it's like oh my god he's that what he do what he fed his kid he feed himself i just, I'll be so mad you hear me? i'm like what <laughs> i be mad just because i like you. oh my god it's so crazy like humans oh, we are crazy I'm serious, like, I'm for real. Like, that one time when I felt that jealousy when it he hinged through my... I was like, I'm jealous of this lady. I don't even know. I was just, oh, God, I couldn't stand to see her ugly name and the way she spelled it. Why are you going to put a W in your Shante? I was like, ugh. Like, I'm just mad at her. Don't know how to talk about it. She can sing, too, y'all. Like, ain't nothing wrong with this girl, Shaquana Shante. And I'm just like, who gonna name their baby Shaquana? Like, I'm for real. Like, in my mind, I, that's what I'm thinking. I'm talking about the heat surged through my body. I was like, oh, that's what jealousy feel like. I'm talking about seething. I could have sucked my teeth. I could have sucked uh, something through my the gap in my teeth. I mean, I just was, I was mad. You know hear I me? Mean? So anyway, yeah, this that's what I'm talking about today because I have been completely fucking pissed i'm talking about i'm pissed do you hear me like it's like completely pissed awfully pissed just like at the level of bullshit that these people are putting me through i am completely pissed like you're gonna keep doing some shit that you don't understand after you just stole some shit you understand what i'm saying like it's like i don't know what the fuck going on Y'all just doing all illegal kind of shit. No, bitch. No. But anyway, what made me think about Jamie is, is like, man, what if your, they, his mama and daddy be like, we don't care. Oh, my God. Are you serious? I'm at the door. Can Jamie come? We don't care. Oh, my God. I mean, oh, my God. I mean, oh, Jesus Christ. Can he come visit me? We don't care. Oh, my God. Y'all, for real. I'm just like this. Just the thought of it would have made me. I'm just so fucking happy. Like, it's like, what if that's what they was really saying? We don't care. Oh, my God. Y'all don't care. For real. Like, I can hang out with y'all's son and y'all don't care. Oh, my God. For real. I mean, you know what I'm saying? He got to mutually want to hang out with me. But still, it's like, Jesus Christ. You so ooh-wee. You so ooh. You so ooh. You so ooh-wee. Ooh. With your face. Ooh. Oh. Look at you. Oh, look at you. <laughs> ah, look at yourself. That's that's it. I ain't going to say nothing else nice because people be get like, you know how people get uncomfortable and be like, fuck, I can't talk to you. You too fucking bubbly, bitch. I can't do that. You can't be goading me all day. <gasps> yes, I can. I can do it all day. All day long. But yeah, you got to stop at some point because they, oh my God, this girl just don't know. I, she, oh my God, why she can't stop? I, damn, I know I look good. What if you be doing that? Damn, I know I look good. Shit, I know, man, I'm, 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 I know I'm fucking, I know I'm fucking look good. Shit. That's my Cardi B impression. I know my father look good. She crazy. She crazy. I love her. But yeah, so it's like, I don't know. I just, ah, oh, I'm human again. So like, you know, the window of tolerance, I'm always teaching. So like, for real, for real, I go through the stuff. For real, for real, go through it. Not joking, not playing, not acting, not nothing. It's just like I go through it. I get pissed off. And today been the first day I, I did not wake up pissed off. And so 
Um, that's it. You know, I did grab my device when I first got up, but I was happy because my son up, and my dog, they came and got in the bed with me. I be feeling like that be heaven for real. Cause it's like, why she just want to come get in the bed with me? You know, you be like, what the hell is she doing? My son don't even want to come snuggle no more. It's like, oh, but the dog, she snuggle. You know, it's like, oh, geez, you want to be here with me? And so it's like, at that time, I feel like, do she know I need protecting or something like that? You know, does she know my son need protecting? Cause she switched. She'll go from me to my son to my son to me. She just switched all through the night, one up, up and down stir she going up and down the stir then sometimes she'll just find a spot to sleep by herself you know so it's just like man but she sleep by the door so she don't fuck around so that's what i'm saying it's like you know i just like that she just know she instinctually know but anyway yeah so like i just really i don't know i i be like y'all know he got two dogs y'all know he got two dogs he got two dogs I think that's all he got. But that's all I saw. He got two dogs. <laughs> and they know how to do tricks. Our dog don't do nothing. She don't, do, she don't know how to do nothing. But I got her from the, you know, from the rescue. So anyway, I love her. I love her. I'm talking about since the day she came home, she protected. I mean, from the since the first day, she didn't even know us. Like, seriously she didn't even fucking know us and we had like a, another dog the other dog was crazy she would jump in front of the other dog like the other dog he was like a a puppy i guess and i got like one picture but anyway navy was crazy i had to take navy ass back because i was like ain't no fucking way ain't no motherfucking way you hear me ain't no way navy stand up in this motherfucker you going the fuck back i had to tell him early in the morning you going Get your shit. Get your sh oh, you ain't got you ain't got shit in here. Let's go. Let's go. He ain't got shit. No collar, no nothing. You take I'm going you going the fuck back. So anyway, I took I took Navy back. Navy was a pretty dog to a German shepherd. Crazy. Completely fucking crazy. Just every time you take him somewhere, he gotta show out. Go run around the fucking dog park like something wrong with him. And the whole time. Then he'll try to run towards us. No little motherfucker, you ain't finna do nothing to us. And I'm talking about aggressively too. So she had to jump in front of the dog. You know, she'll jump in front of him. I'm like, oh, you a keeper. You know what I'm saying? You is a keeper. And I just, I mean, for real, I just really loved her. You see, I she had to make she done made me speak ebonics. You are a keeper. You is a keeper. You keeper. Keeper. You keeper. Keeper. Keep high. That's that's like keep with an A H. You know what I'm saying? Ebonics. Ebonics. So yeah, I'm just like, man, I just I don't know. After that I was like, you mind, like I for real. I was going out, y'all buying her rotisserie chickens. I get her the real meat for the dog food. I mean, I I'm like, yeah, we finna spoil you until I got broken and I was like, fuck. All I can get you is this. It's all I got. But then the treats, you know, like, I like to give her the good treats. As soon as I get paid, like, oh, God, I got to go get my dog some food. You know, I got to give her some treats. All that stuff. I just really, really, oh, my God. Jesus Christ. So, you know, he take care of his dogs, right? Because they know I do tricks. They just, he say a word and they just do whatever the fuck he say. You see that? That's a man. That's a man. That is a man. So, anyway, that's part of my wellness, y'all. Also, this is what I want to talk about, being angry. Because I used to be so guilty about being angry about stuff. And now that I have allowed myself to be pissed off and cuss people out on a podcast, I ain't no punk, though. I, I cuss them out in their face, too. But, like, what I'm saying is, like, I just, man, I don't know. It is so nice to just be mad sometimes, you know. I used to feel like, oh, my God, I'm black. They're looking at me. I'm going to be ghetto if I say something. I'm full of fucking rage. And I feel like a lot of black women probably do feel like this. We probably all got, like, uh, what is anger management issues? Like, on that movie. Because white people can clearly express themselves. And we just, we don't express anything. We don't say anything about anything to anybody. And so, that's the whole thing. Like, we don't even do anything. And when we do express it, it's always somebody just like nonch acting like it's nonchalant or whatever. But I think that it's important for us to be able to get the anger out. 
I don't think we have to hit anybody or or hurt people or stuff and stuff like that. But it is good and stuff like that. What the hell? We don't have to um, hurt people in order for that to happen. I think that we we just bottled it all up. It's just all bottled up. It's all bottled, bottled up, you know, bottled up, you know, because we, we can't get it out sometimes. Sometimes it's just like, are you seriously going to get that to Karen and you knew that I was in this meeting asking for, it? Be, you know, it's almost like where we feel like we, just because we know that we entitled to it. We can't say anything about it. And it's not a sense of entitlement. It actually is not. If you know you're deserving of it, why? Why are you doing it? So that's what I'm saying. It was like, I just, oh, why can't we express? Nope, that's not. Why can't we all be a Gabrielle Union? Because Gabrielle Union is one of those people. She is really upfront about, no, I need attention. No, I need for you to look at me. No, that's not going to happen. It's like, for real, it's, I don't know. We feel, I guess some people could feel a certain way about that type of personality. But at the same time, what is wrong with her saying, no, it's about me. It's not about you. It's like, I can almost see her. She need another diva. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they need to be diva sisters. Like, um, she really do. She need a diva sister. Somebody with that same attitude like Naomi Campbell. And I just need them both to be like, no, we need water. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's the kind of support she need. She need that kind of, no, we need for this dress to be him two inches, five on the side, three on the back, and put a tuck in the front. You know, it's just like, I just see that. You know what I'm saying? And she not mean about it. Naomi is more stern. But she is, she is just like, because it's not our way in America to do it. I love it. It's almost like, is she part African? Because Naomi, I know she African. And an African woman, they do, they really are like, no, you're not going to, no, stop. You don't have to do, no. So it's almost like she got that African, um, she got the ancestors inside of her. I like that about her. She just, she will be like, uh-uh. No, uh-uh, attention is for me. You know, this is my camera time. This is my smile. Get it. <laughs> and she'll smile. Um, I know that she had trouble with people when, like, how they, like, how she was fighting in Hollywood. And then she said after she opened up about it, it was different for her. She can be open like that, too, and still say to her, and still say to you, no. This is my camera time. This is me. You will get yours. You know what I'm saying? It's all, because that's not saying to you, you're not good enough or you're not enough for me. Or this is, it's just like she really does say, give me my attention. It's mine. I, this is what I need right now. Um, I really, I don't know. I like that about her. I do. Not a mean girl, not the mean girl part, but just the part of saying this is mine and I'm and I'm going to do what I have to do with it while I got it. Beautiful. It's gorgeous. But then like, um, yeah, Naomi, Naomi Campbell, I understand her. I ain't, I'm not going to be like, oh my God, I'm so appalled at what she, no, because people do stuff to start fights with people. Y'all think I'm playing Portia too. I told y'all already. I look, I understand Portia. I love Naomi Campbell. I'm sorry to say. I know she did fault some people. They try to say she got a bad attitude, but they do stuff. People do stuff to fuck with you all the time. And then when you snap, oh my God, that person is racist and out of control. And they have an attitude problem and this and that. No, she don't. Nope. I know you did it. I know you did. You did it on purpose. You did it on purpose. Jealousy has a way of hiding in people who always, in people that'll be like, we go around you where you didn't, didn't have any intention. And that's probably why she got mad at that assistant. If she didn't have any intention on hurting this person and this person is constantly doing the wrong thing, 
continuously doing the wrong thing continuously continue at some point it's like when do you get it right like what are you when are you gonna do this right so either this person playing games with me or either this person needs to be fucking fired and so that's the whole thing like i don't know what really happened but i know i know i know people do that stuff you can and they'll pretend like they so weak oh my god they got glasses they talk dumb no ain't nothing wrong with them nope 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 ain't nothing wrong with them they are trying to take your take your power. They trying to see they they want to see you upset. They want to see your flex. No, don't you don't have to do that. They do it. It's that street shit. That street. Naomi knew that that was some street shit, cause that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? That's what you do when you fucking with somebody in the hood. You gonna run up to her. You gonna talk your shit or whatever, right? All y'all gonna talk your shit. Actually, everybody ain't gonna talk nothing. But they gonna talk they shit or play they game, and then they gonna see. Then they gonna see you, cause they wanna see what the fuck they can do. No, Naomi knew. She knew. I believe you. I believe you. I'm not joking. I believe you. I know. I know. After I just seen all these nappy head bitches do the shit they do, I know. I know. So yeah. Um. Yeah. I, I'm just saying, man. Like. I don't know. It's something about just, okay, yeah. I think they would be a supportive friendship. I do. If they really was, like, together, they could probably rule the world. Because all Gabrielle is going to do is smile. She's going to hit you with that smile. But she's going to tell you like it is. And then Naomi, she ain't even about, she going to tell you like it is. I love it. I love it. I like, I like her sternness. But like I said, I think... Is she African or Jamaican? That's just how they are. That's how the women are. I like that too. If they not up to no good, I really do. I like it. Um, What else did I want to talk about today? Oh, my God. Oh, man, I like that man. I'm telling y'all. I just, you know what it is now? Now it's like, I just want to play with him. And I ain't talk about like, like just, I want to play basketball with them, and like ride horses and look at the dogs and talk to him about my shows and see if he can help me with some songs or some beats. I can really do that. I think I can do the beat stuff now myself. I found out it's just free beats on YouTube. You see how old I am? I'm still trying to do. Fruity Loops. I'm still trying to download Fruity Loops. Fruity Loops. I ain't gonna get nowhere. You hear me? Nowhere. I. It's like I'm just. I. I don't know what the fuck I'm on. At least I sing. At least I try to write them. Like I just sing them or whatever. But yeah, fruit. I'm still thinking about Fruity Loops. Like oh my god, I gotta download. Fr- I ain't got download no fucking Fruity Loops. Fuck a Fruity Loops. Now I could just listen to them on YouTube. They free beats, but. Yeah, so, and they beats that I like. Like, I don't got to try to make no beats. So, I don't got to get in garage band and try to make no beats. But my son can make beats. How did he skip me? I don't I don't understand why making beats is such a hard thing for me to do. I don't get it in my head. It's not like, do-do-do, ba-ba-dun-da-dun. Then I might put a she do do she do boom doom ping doom boom ping do me do she boom bum ding 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 boom ba dum bum ba da ba dum bum bum you see what I'm saying me now let me get on the computer to make the beat that I just made I guess I should be using a MIDI piano, though. For real. I went everywhere looking for this thing and don't even use it. Broke the button. So, anyway, I'm thinking that I, that's what I should be doing, right? And I can't do it. It just don't happen. I'm just like, I get frustrated. I don't say it out loud, but it's like, I really do get fucking frustrated about it. I be so fucking pissed. Like, it's like, why can't I just make a beat? Like, what is wrong with me in a beat? But if I hear a beat, I can make a song. You see what I'm saying? You see the difference? You see the difference? You see the difference? Yeah. So, and then, 
I don't know. I haven't been working on anything. I took a break. It's like, no, nah, girl, take a break. You did a lot of work in a short amount of time. In like a few months, I did a lot of work. So calm down, Tay. Calm down. Calm. Calm it that way. Calm it that way. I mean, calm down, boo. Calm it that way. Ugh. That's it. I think that's all. I think I still got tissue. They still have tissue everywhere. Um, they could end up being a problem someday. I need to get tissue while I can. Um, mm, I don't know. Y'all. I don't know. I like podcasting. I really do. I would like to do this every day. I would be like a host or a DJ. You know, I already said all this stuff, but still, it's still what I want. A writer. I keep thinking people stole stuff from me. Like, I'm supposed to actually be there. But I do know they stole. They stole all the stories from my life. And gave them all to the people on the reel. And then told me that I was in a fantasy. My whole 30s was a fantasy. No, that was my real life. Until they got involved. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. A fantasy. Mm. Nah, it wasn't. <laughs> But going through my email, that's another problem. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm disgusted. Today is not like a day where I'm like totally fucked about it. But I am disgusted. Completely disgusted. Anyway, y'all have a good day and be good, be real, be love, be all that great stuff to yourself. Um, you know, yeah, I I'm not pissed today, but I'm disgusted. I really am. So yeah, Shante, Brown Sugar Talk under Black Unicorns. Maybe I think about Jamie some more. It'll help me revive myself, like shake it off. Um. Then again, no, I don't. Cause a lot of these guys already know. They already know what they did. They not helping me at all either. So I don't know. That's it. I've been through a divorce and I ain't never even been fucking married. That's the end. I'll be all about that one. Anyway, Shantae, brown sugar talk under black unicorns. Please have a good day.